Welcome back to the Disc Doctors. Hi, welcome back. We are the Disc Doctors. My name is Todd Stopper. And I'm Stephen Sashin. And you know, I often find myself mocking the Macintosh, and often rightly so. But mm -hmm. you know, I've got to say, Todd, I appreciate something Apple has done recently. What do you appreciate? They have this? refurbished all those vacuum cleaners and turned them into computers. <laughs> yeah, that is one. That's the, the, the Apple uh, canister. The Eureka upright <laughs> iMac, isn't it? Hey, you know, as uh, as unexcited as Stephen or as cynical as Stephen might have been about this thing, sitting here on our desk. It's been driving me crazy. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and it's uh, it's amazing to have it here. It's the iMac. It's the new consumer uh, education entry from Apple. Tell me more. It's, Tell me uh, more. Well, it, okay. I'll tell you a little bit more about okay. it. The iMac. It's called i for Internet. They've got 56K modem, and they've got uh, Ethernet okay. networking built into it. So if you need to put two computers together, plug and play. Yeah, or if you need to use cable modems or DSL Ooh. modems, you've already got your Ethernet right built in, Ooh. and you don't have to get a new card or anything like that. Ooh. Um, it doesn't have a floppy drive. That's what a lot of people are talking about. And I'm going to talk about it right now, because yeah. we get a bunch of calls at my software company. People have already said, hey, is your software on CD-ROM? Because all it has is a CD-ROM, because I have an iMac, and I, we say no, and then they say, now what? And we go, well, we don't know. Let me show you. What you do is... Wait, wait, you can buy an external floppy drive, though. You can buy an external floppy drive, and you can buy them as a super disk floppy drives that too, so you get 120 meg. megabyte, or you can get zip disks if you've sort of standardized on zip and you can do that. That's how I do it. Right. I use zips on all my different computers. Right. What you could do for your software company Me? is yes. create a disk image, an online disk image that can then be downloaded over the internet we and, can. well, if you, if you, if you had a, a secure story, way to do it or something, but, ah, see, but if you could secure. do that, yes. if, and if there was some way you could charge for this, yes. you didn't get it. This is an update, for instance, for the modem from Apple. Double click it and it works just like a diskette, uh, but I can download cute. that over the internet. Yeah. Cute. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, comes with a bunch of software. It's got uh, Quick and Deluxe, it's got good cooking, Claris Works 5.0 for all of your uh, productivity stuff. It's really snappy. It's got the 233 megahertz uh, Pentium 2. That uh, is Pentium 2. Snappy. Pentium 2 G3 processor, the 233 megahertz G3 processor. Uh, it's also got the ROMs. The Apple ROMs have been put into RAM. Now that was I know that up. sounds exciting, but it makes the quick, screen quick, pop quick, around. Quick, and you get some 3D pop, and stuff quick, like that. Snappy, poppy. You get, uh, quick, poppy, snappy. Good, good, <laughs> good G3 performance here for yes. a $1,300 machine. Uh, see, that's the other magic word. Is this thing is way inexpensive. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, you can run PC stuff on here. Yes, you can. We, in fact, we're going to show it in another show. But we got virtual PC. Oh, I didn't mean to mention about that. About 150 yeah. bucks. No, it's a good mention. Oh. About 150 bucks, and you can run Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows NT, anything you want to. It it emulates a Pentium on this iMac, of, but you have to pay a little extra for it, right? And it comes with some attachments so you can get the stairs and the drapes. Say, absolutely. All of the various attachments. <laughs> hey, you know, the other thing that's uh, pretty cool about this is um, something that I'm completely forgetting right now. Uh, okay, let me think. Sound. It has a power button. Sound. Uh, that's what, you oh, know what? This I is a right. great, this is a really good consumer computer for people who don't have any kind of computer because it's a Mac. It's a little easier to use. Yes. They've got all new technology, so you can't go messing it up with like parallel printers or old yeah. drivers yeah, or yeah, even yeah, plugging. Yeah, yeah. And it's a good education computer because it's got the two sound things up front. It's got the Ethernet for networking. Oh. These things are going into schools like crazy because the kids can sense. sit here. The only problem I got is this mouse. Freaky mouse. This mouse I don't like. Freaky. It's round, and the problem with round is if it's sideways, I grab it and it still feels round. So it's tough to orient yourself. If you have a regular mouse, you can orient yourself. See, that's a reason I wouldn't buy it right there. But round you, mouse. What are they get, talking about? I get a trackball anyway. You know, mouse. it's uh, hey, it's a great deal. A very quick machine for new people, for education, for kids, or a little terminal if you're already a Mac person. And I love it. Can clean up around your desk. I'm gonna buy five. So all that said, let's go to the phones and chat with Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Nancy. Hi. How are Hello. You? Good. Thank you. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from a uh, small town, Meriden, Kansas. 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 Hey, is that place still in black and white? <laughs> <laughs> we or was do that have just in the movies? On and ease on down. <laughs> that was, that was ease on the down the road. And hey. What's happening in Kansas that you're worried about and calling us about? Well, I was kind of wondering about this Y2K thing this uh, year 2000. Bus. Yeah. Y2K. Run! Run as fast as you yeah, can! Are we going to have to go back to wash your clothes on the rock? Again? Well, you know what you do need to do? Actually, it's funny. No, you want to wash your clothes on the rock, you have to make your clothes out of rock. <laughs> <laughs> We've had. Uh, We've had some action. We, this is honest to goodness. This is some of the advice we're getting about year 2K. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to get some food. Yes. You're going to need to get some water. Yes. You're going to need to get some blankets. Yes. And you're going to need to get some candles because yes. we don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen and what could happen is you could go off the grid. You could well, lose you know some power. What? what? I called a utility company and I asked them if they were going to have everything taken care of by the year 2000. And they, they said, said they hope so. Yeah, they uh, hope so. Yeah, but hope, they don't know. hope is the operative word. So here's, 
Here's the thing. For people who don't know, I mean, I'll do this really quick. Um, the Y2K problem is that a lot of calculations were done with dates and in a lot of software, and even worse, in certain pieces of hardware, not in your personal computer, but things like little chips that control stuff at your utility company, used a date with only six digits, namely two digits for the, the year. So it would be, you know, when it turns 2,000, it'll say zero, zero, and some computers are going to think that's 100 years, 1,000 years. Right. If you subtract hundred. zero, zero from 99, you get 100 years ago. Yeah, there so you it's go. About uh, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what's going to happen? We have no idea. And, you know, there's things that you can do to check. There's programs. There's some shareware and some programs out that'll check. Your software more than your hardware and your computer is most likely to be a problem to see if it's Y2K compliant. Um, and the biggest thing is actually get online, see what's happening online. There's a lot of good and real information about the Y2K Yeah, problem what you there. should do is go to your manufacturer's website and check them out and see what they say about Y2K and upgrading the BIOS and that kind of thing. And then go to your, your important applications, your uh, Quicken and your Excel and, and those kinds of yes. things and make sure you get the upgrades for those, too. And cross your fingers and good luck. Thanks for the call, Nancy. Okay. Okay. Now, hey, speaking, now a lot of companies might say their stuff is Y2K compliant, and they might not be. We don't know. And speaking of uh, computer industry lies, here's another one that we're going to talk <laughs> about when we get back. A lot of uh, software or hardware companies will say their machines are completely upgradable. It's easy. Not always. And we're going to talk about that when we return.